Greetings and welcome to my Captain's Vlog uh, series where I'm just kind of talking about what's going on in general video game, pop culture, universe. Uh, thing I wanted to start off with was Star Wars. How about that new Star Wars trailer? It's the final one. Uh, the, I know the first one, the first trailer kind of really had me going. This one was kind of more what I expected, but I am really glad that they didn't reveal too much. You know, uh, it's just the right amount, I think. Uh, if they added any more, it would have been pretty, te like, I don't know. It would just sort of like the Marvel films. They have a lot of, a lot of details that are kind of given in them. And I, I, I love those films, but I don't necessarily like the trailers that they put out for those. So I thought the, the Star Wars trailer, it gave us a lot of new stuff, but at the same time, I have no general like with avengers i could basically be like well ultron's going to betray tony stark and then uh somewhere along the lines he's going to create better bodies try to create some, the vision the vi and then the vision's going to join them in an epic battle in the end where they fight like a bunch of robots that's basically what happened and that's how the trailer was well this one like my ideas are kind of like Maybe from this, my ideas were maybe Finn is a turncoat and Crash lands on Jakku, meets up with Rey, and then somehow Rey helps him escape from, I'm guessing, Captain Phasma is probably going to be hunting him down for being a turncoat, and then maybe Han and Chewie rescue them, and then at, somewhere along the lines they meet up with Poe Dameron, who's that cool starfighter pilot, and then they hunt down Luke to probably try to learn the ways of the Force, and then it'll probably all conclude uh, near the Star Killer base, I'm assuming, where it seems like Finn will have conflicts with Kylo Ren, uh, maybe someone dies, maybe Chewie, hopefully not. I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's just somebody that got injured, maybe Finn gets injured, or, or maybe Poe or something, I don't know. Maybe one of the main characters get it or something. I, I, I just, I could see them offing Chewie, but I feel like he's too much of a household name to oft, but wouldn't put it past uh, uh, JJ to uh, to do that. So, I also think that Kylo Ren and uh, Rey are twins because, based off the Star Wars extended universe, there was the Solo twins. So I'm thinking they're probably going to kind of take some some influence from that. So that's kind of my theory on that. But also in other news, Halo Five comes out today. I We'll be playing that hopefully with uh, with Chris later on today. Uh, I am also going to be using the new Elite controller, um, so I probably will put up a review for that. And uh, Destiny, also in the Destiny kind of run because I've been playing a lot of Destiny in the last month. Uh, they have a new festival going on. It started yesterday. Basically, you can you it's like it's it's similar to Halloween. You go around talking to NPCs and then killing anything, and you you fill up a candy bag and you return it and you get cool masks. Um, masks of all the like NPCs or bosses in the game. It's kind of fun. Um, luckily, you can obtain all those without having to pay pay for them. They are because of the new microtransactions in Destiny. You can basically pay your way to get all these masks rather than going out and earning them. Whether you like that or not, that that's just how they put it in. It doesn't really have any impact or anything, especially since the masks don't add any light level. So. Take that with a grain of salt, but it's a new festival called the Festival of the Lost. I think it's kind of cool. They also changed kind of the aesthetics of the tower. It has like candles everywhere and like little floating shit and all that. It's fun. Uh, I think it's a little. It's way better than last year's. Uh, they just had jackal lights. They they have those this year, but it's it's a huge improvement over last year. So hopefully they continue doing some of this stuff. I'd love to see Santa hats uh, around Christmas time. That would be cool. So. Yeah, we'll see. And then uh, finally, I uh, I beat the King's Fall raid on normal mode, not hard, uh, for the first time. Just haven't had that time to sit down and kind of get it out there for... Uh, it took me about three hours with uh, the group that I was with. Most of them were all experienced. Uh, I didn't really have any problems with it. it. It was fun. A lot of cool jumping problems. Uh, I'm going to use that video that I made for that. For the review that I want to put out for this, I'm still kind of in the middle of writing that, so we'll see when I get that out. So I think I'll, I'll 
stop it there because the video is kind of running a little bit longer than I've wanted to. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe or like if you'd like. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.